no one can ever be made right with God by doing good. We have all sinned and fallen short of God's perfect standard, but with undeserved kindness, God declares us righteous because of the work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Being convinced of our complete inability to please God and knowing that He loved us first can be a wonderful and freeing experience. So, are we to conclude that good works are meaningless or assume that changing our lifestyle is unnecessary? The church has debated these things since the first century, and today we have an email that puts a modern twist to it. It reads, I'm having trouble with this idea that God wants to change me. He created me and He loves me as His child. But if He's trying to mold me into the image of Jesus, how is that love? Shouldn't He just love me the way I am? What about this troubles you? Are you satisfied with yourself just like you are? Is there no room for improvement? Salvation brings about a change. Listen to what he says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any person is in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. Listen to what God says about his goal for you in Romans 8, 29, that he has predestined. That is, he determined before you were ever born when you were saved, you would be conformed to the likeness of his son. Would you say that today you're in the likeness of his son? Is there not anything to change about you? You object to God's plan? Listen to this. Think about this for a moment. You don't see any room for improvement. Have you experienced salvation truly? What is it about you that you don't want to change? Is it some sin unwilling to give up? Will it be totally changed before heaven? Listen to this. What higher goal could Almighty God have for you than to change you and make you like His Son? That is the ultimate goal for Almighty God. And to refuse God's plan to change you is an act of rebellion. You're satisfied living in rebellion against God. Examine your salvation. In other words, changing you physically is not the issue, though you do change physically. Why reject spiritual change? If becoming more like, listen, if becoming more resistant to God, that is, when you refuse change, you can't remain the same. So think about this for a moment. God's will is to change you like His Son. Will He change you for good or for worse? He changed you for good like His Son. And I say again, to refuse to let God change you and shape you and mold you and make you in the likeness of His Son is an act of absolute rebellion. You need a change of heart, my friend, because what God desires for you, you are objecting to. And remember this, He saved you, and He desires a personal relationship with you. And the more intimate that personal relationship becomes, the more like His Son you're going to be, and you're going to be less and less satisfied with the way you've been. Well, thank you for joining us today for In Touch. And I'll close by saying this. If you want to experience the Christian life in all of its power, allow Jesus Christ to live His life in and through you every day.